Good evening, folks. My name is Amiibo Jason, and welcome to another installment of the Nintendo Wiretap. Again, for the evening of July 6th, 2017. We just had a Nintendo Direct today, so we are going to get right into the news right now. Coming in at number one today, we have Splatfest coming back to Splatoon 2, but surprise, it's coming out a week before the game actually comes out. It's no surprise that Splatoon 2 is letting players get their hands on it just a little bit early. The first game had multiple test fires, and we even had one for the sequel a few months back. But doing the same things again and again just isn't the Inkopolis way, and to keep things fresh, Nintendo has a bit of a surprise for us. On July 15th, one week before the game's release, a Splatfest world premiere will take place, giving folks around the world the chance to see what this game is all about. And what better way than having ice cream versus cake? You can download the software from the eShop later today, but it won't be playable until the 15th from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific time. During today's Direct, it was also announced that you can party up with friends during Splatfest, though at this time we don't know if the particular featured will be included in the world premiere. With new faces and a whole heap of new Splatfests to squabble over, it's going to feel good to be back on that familiar turf. Let us know what you guys are excited for. Are you team cake? Are you team ice cream? Let us know in the comments below. Coming in at number two tonight, we have new Splatoon 2 musicians in the form of Marina and Pearl. With the mysterious fate of the Squid Sisters lingering in our minds, it's left us wondering who could possibly fill their role announcing stage rotations. Now wonder no more as a new dynamic duo has come onto the scene, consisting of two stylish gals who form the music group Off the Hook, Marina and Pearl. Sporting some outlandish gear and some really big zippers, these two fulfill the Squid Sisters' roles with their own unique, fresh styles. Marina appears to be an octoling DJ, considering her giant headphones and large turntable prop, while Pearl appears to be a pop princess in the vein of Britney Spears, complete with a shiny crown and plush chair to lounge around in. Their debut appearance also featured them singing, and the song was outright funky. While there's certainly some similarities with Callie and Marie before them, it's clear these two have their own style and appeal. And they managed to stand out as just more than brand new characters, breaking away from the J-pop idol motif to go for a far more varied style. Are you guys on Team Marina or Team Pearl? Let us know again in the comments below. And finally tonight, we get our first look at Splatnet 2 that's coming to Splatoon 2 later this month. We know that in 2018 that Nintendo's online services will start up, and over the last couple of months we've been given details of how Splatoon 2 will function. With a delayed release time frame and a headset for voice chat, we didn't know what to expect at launch. If you happen to be a fan of the first game and its online service Splatnet, as well as the Miiverse functionality in Inkopolis, then today's Splatoon 2 Direct is amazingly fresh. Splatnet 2 isn't just a direct sequel to Splatnet, it is so much more. Even if you're away from Nintendo Switch, you're just a tentacle away from Splatoon 2 with the feature built into the Nintendo Switch Online app. Available at the launch of Splatoon 2 later this month on your mobile devices, you'll be able to see what stages are active, as well as upcoming stages. You can buy gear, you can look at battle stats and other users' gear, and so much more. Want to check out your battle history? You can get performance stats of your last 50 battles, and that includes your win rates for specific modes and stages. There's even a share button available so you can post battles for some bragging rights. As for the Nintendo Switch Online app, it looks to be a hub of sorts. Any games that have dedicated online functionality should be given its own section. From the screenshots we've seen so far, Splatoon 2 is the only game on this app. When selected, you can set up a private battle, league battles, salmon run matches, and even Splatfest battles. This is the only way to use voice chat on the Nintendo Switch, at least right now, so we're gonna have to hang tight to see how this concept works in reality later this month. And that's gonna wrap up tonight's installment of the Nintendo Wiretap again for the evening of July 6th, 2017. As always, you can find a link to all of the amazing Splatoon 2 news that we covered today and so much more in the description below and head over to NintendoWire.com for all of our amazing Nintendo coverage of the day. Have a good night, guys. Bye.